it's me, Shadow Mew, and today we are looking at the the Taco Designers AFK Journey Journal, uh, yeah, journal, where they have put up stuff about optimizations and the new season preview, which should be exciting to see all the new things they're adding to it after the Song of Strife season is over. It is just about done, by the way. So if you haven't done all the content and seen all the story, be sure you get that done before it happens. And also, if you want to try the game out, link is in the description to download it as well. As well as just leave a like and a comment if, if it helps out. So, hi, hi everyone. Song of Strife is coming at, to a close soon. They want their feed. They've been monitoring the feedback. And they're going to know all the major things they're going to be adding. First off, adjustments for version 1.1.17. To celebrate the launch, they're going to be uh, making it the updated hero list for all heroes available events. And people who've already claimed these rewards will receive compensation to cover the difference. The new hero list will include all heroes released before August 8th, which is going to include people like Ludovic, Talene, maybe not Talene, uh, but like Ludovic, Floribel, Olmus, Soren, all those kinds of guys. To enhance the competitive experience, you're going to narrow the gap between the server ranking rewards and the Dream Realm and grab you Temporal Shards and craft Temporal Essence. Not too sure what those are exactly, because I don't think I've seen one yet, but that does sound very helpful. They're adding a new daily quest, which is a recruit one time, allowing you to get more diamonds again. Love to see it. Always nice. They also have updated the story, starter story to check out the official new things that are going to be coming out with that. We will be sure to check that out and later date. Season experience optimizations, we are introducing new items that we swap the tier and exclusive item progress between two heroes of the same quality, A or S, released in the new season. These items offer a chance to reset a hero and can reduce the cost of hero development. You'll be able to earn them through in-game events. Hmm. I think that means you're going to be able to, for example, let's say you have like Ulsa maxed out all the way. That might mean you might be able to dump all of your resources from her into a new person you want to try out that comes out in the future. Not 100 sure, but it should be good. Uh, starting in September, Star Story players will be able to unlock seasonal content once they reach 240 and complete Rotham Tales. It won't be necessary to complete all main stages and AFK stages. This allows players to get to the content faster. That is good because AFK stages were a grind back when the game came out. It, is, it was rough. Especially because you had to wait till you maxed out just to be able to complete all of the stages. It was a not fun time for anyone involved. Previously announced, you'll bounce XP and Essence rewards from the early season. We are also working on optimizations for the residence level gap during the first few weeks. So we'll help everyone enjoy the new content at their own pace without worrying about it. Season schedules between servers will still be based on how long the server has been open. This is just so that if you open, that you join the game, maybe you're not caught up or anything, the server you're on isn't too far ahead of you and you won't be left in the dust. We also understand starting with level, residence level 1 can feel like a setback. This is a misconception because the stat bonuses from your start of residence always are effective. To address this, we'll optimize the divine to make it more seamless. So, that's good. Starting the new season, your start of residence story will be starting level for the residence. Before, they would enter at 240 and be reset to level 1. They'll now enter at 240 instead of being reset. That is amazing. New season will begin September as the Song Strife season concludes. All seasonal hero upgrades, progress rankings, and rewards in the seasonal mode will be reset. Your server will join a new district when the new season begins. At the beginning of the new season, you will re receive rewards based on your progress of these things. Uh, we'll calculate. We will tell you details how it's calculated. We'll earn, so stay tuned. That is good because it didn't feel good, you know, at the start of the season when we got into it and everyone was like, "Oh, I, I don't gonna keep. I don't gonna keep anything." What am, I, what am I gonna do with all my stuff? That's good. Now we don't have to worry about that. There won't be an issue. You actually are going to get something back. Season highlights, your alliance, and abundant rewards. On top of that, we will find existing mods such as Arcane Labyrinth and Honor Duel increase their rewards. You just need to peak. Uh, fishing mode that we hope you'll enjoy. It does. It's not a hyperlink, so I can't click on it. So, I I fish. I, I always spend hours in fishing mini games and RPG, so you know, always going to be a lot. Guilds are key social feature, and we hope you have enjoyed them. I prepared a new guild event for the season. We're working on a highly anticipated guild administration. We will provide customization options and the cosmetic, allowing you to showcase your personality even more. We are excited to introduce new faction-based mechanic. It will allow you to give one or two heroes on your team new abilities that greatly boost their strength in battle. 
This mechanic will add a new layer to strategies. Will adjust this mechanic each season to keep your experience fresh and engaging. It will be available in specific modes like Legend Trial to avoid major disruptions to the resource acquisitions in modes such as Dream Realm. Feel free to tell us what you think about those updates. We'll be rolling out some updates based on your feedback, including less grinding, preset formations, and dueling between friends. That sounds awesome. Dueling your friends just because, hey, y'all want to take a crack at me? Content. Huh? Huh? And Raid of Recruitment Info. As many of you know, Raid of Recruitment was available for A-level heroes, reasonably higher logic. First, the recruitment system is very differently from other games. Designed to make it easier for you to get the heroes you want. New heroes will be available for a limited time. Once it ends, they get added to your wish list section. And second, there is no significant power gap between A's and S's that lies primarily in their sources and the difficulty of recruiting them. Each hero has a unique role and can shine in different scenarios. That is very true because Odie is a A-rank marksman who is absurdly good because of his execution ability. He's he can be a little better than Vala, but Vala is better at just hard targeting a single dude, whereas Odie has to go after the closest people, and then he just starts taking down them with his execution. It's insane, and I love the hyena boy. And thank you all for your patience, understanding, and the feedback. So, I'm excited. New season sounds like it's going to be amazing. So, if you're looking forward to it too, be sure to comment, like, all those amazing things, and I'll see you all in the future. So see ya, and love ya. Bye. Oops. <laughs>